in this video we are going to talk about uh, linear cost function linear cost function is nothing but uh, the slope intercept form equation of a line which is y equals to mx cos b okay since uh, this is a linear equation uh, will be considered this one as a linear cost function but when we write this uh, slope intercept form equation of a line as linear cost function uh, instead of uh, the slope m we will be using uh, the upper case a and uh, instead of the y intercept uh, b will be using uh, the upper case b okay now let's understand the actually y equals to x cos b is considered to be the linear cost function okay now let us understand the components of this linear cost function so in this y equals to x cos b uh, this y stands for the total cost so total cost of um, producing Uh, x number of units of a particular product and uh, this a stands for cost per unit cost per unit or cost of one unit cost of producing one unit and uh, this x stands for already we know that x stands for the number of units i mean x stands for the number of units of output and uh, this b stands for fixed cost so that's all uh, we have to understand about uh, this linear cost function okay so whenever uh, we are working a problem on a uh, linear cost function so always our ultimate aim uh, to find the value of uh, this a upper case a which uh, refers which refers to cost per unit and uh, this upper case b which refers to fixed cost so once we know these two uh, values i mean the values of upper case a and upper case b the linear cost function will be complete and we'll be able to solve the problem easily and also one more thing we have to uh, uh, remember so already we know that uh, what is fixed cost because this upper case b refers to fixed cost and the product over here that is a times x this a times x refers to variable cost already we know that uh, x refers to the number of units of output uh, so and a stands for the cost per unit for example uh, cost per unit uh, let's say the cost per unit of producing a particular product is just three dollars okay if i produce a uh, five units means the value of x will be five then what is the value of ax so here a is three dollars and x is five uh, three times five will be fifteen dollars so uh, this is a variable cost and uh, in case uh, if a is equal to four and uh, x is 7 what will happen in that case ax will be uh, 4 times uh, 7 will be 28 dollars so according to the number of units uh, the um, value of ax will get will be getting changed so that's why we call the product ax as variable cost okay so based on what we have discussed so far uh, let's a problem let's solve a problem uh, using a linear cost function here we have a work problem on a linear cost function okay let's go over the question uh, the total cost of producing 20 units of a product is uh, $205, while the total cost of producing 10 units is $135. Assuming the, the cost function is linear, find the cost function and the total cost of producing 150 units. So the question clearly says that the cost function is linear. So when the cost function is linear, uh, it can be written as y equals to ax positive b. Okay, already we know what is y, what is a, what is x and what is b. And uh, so whatever question it is, uh, our first thing is to find the values of A and B. Only if you know the values of A and B, the cost function uh, will be complete and you'll be able to solve uh, the given problem. Okay, anyways, uh, let's uh, go over the other information. Okay, so actually according to the question, we have to find the total cost function. This cost function has to be found. That means uh, we have to get the values of A and B. Uh, once we get the values of A and B, uh, we can find the total cost of producing 150 units. That is, uh, already we know that X stands for uh, the production or the number of units of output. So we have to plug in X equals to 150 and we have to evaluate the value of Y because Y is, uh, refers to the total cost. Okay, so now let's uh, find the values of A and B. So for that, we have to use the uh, given information. Okay, the first information says uh, the cost of producing 20 units uh, is uh, two two hundred five dollars. So that means uh, this twenty units means this is a value we have for x, and uh, this is total cost. Total cost means this is a value for uh, y. So we have to plug in x equals to twenty and y is equal to two hundred five into this uh, linear cost function. Okay, let me do this. So uh, y equals to 
to one on five and uh, x is equal to 20 positive b so we get uh, so we can write this one as uh, 20a positive b equals to 2 and 5 okay this is one equation let's uh, write the other equation using the second information that is the total cost of producing 10 units is 1 and 35 dollars that is uh, we have to plug in x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 1 and uh, 35 into this uh, linear cost function and i'll be getting 1 and 35 equals to a times x is 10 positive b. So this is 10a positive b equals to, uh, we have 1 and 35. This is equation number 2. Okay, now uh, we have two linear equations with two unknowns a and b and we have to solve these uh, this system. The system of uh, two linear equations are for the two unknowns a and b. Okay, if I subtract the second equation from the first equation, I'll be able to get rid of uh, b because here we have uh, the same we have the same question for B in both the equations. Okay, let me subtract the second equation from the first equation. So here uh, I'm going to write the first equation as it is. That is 20a positive B equals to 25. Okay, there is a negative sign in front of our equation number two. So I have to multiply both sides of the second equation by negative sign. So if I multiply this 10a by negative, I'll be getting negative 10a. If I multiply this positive by a, a negative. Then it'll become negative b and uh, negative times 1 and 35 will be negative 1 and 35. Okay, here positive a negative b will cancel out and here 20a negative 10a will be just uh, 10a and uh, here let's subtract this one. Uh, so it's going to be 70. So when I subtract 1 and 35 from uh, 25, now I divide both sides by 10. So this 10, 10 will cancel out. 10 goes into 10 one times, 10 goes into 70. Uh, seven times. So finally, I'm getting a equals to seven. Okay, now uh, we can plug in a equal to seven either into the first equation or into the second equation to solve for b. So today we can uh, plug in a equals to seven into the second equation because in second equation the numbers uh, are uh, smaller than uh, the numbers in the first equation. Okay, so in the second equation I'm going to plug in a equals to seven. That is ten times seven uh, positive b equals to one and thirty five. Okay, 10 times 7 is uh, 70, positive b equals to 135. Now I'm going to subtract 70 from both sides to solve for b. So this uh, positive 70, negative 70 will cancel out. I get b equals to, when I subtract uh, 70 from 135, it will be 65. Okay, I got the value of a, which is 7, and uh, b is 65. Okay, now we can plug in uh, a equals to 7 and b equals to 65 uh, into this equation, I mean into the cost, uh, linear cost function uh, so then i'll be getting a y equals to uh, for a we have 7x and for b we have 65 so this is a cost function so we have answered the first part of the question that is uh, according to the question we have we have to find the cost function i got the cost function the cost function is y equals to 7x positive 65 here y refers to the total cost of producing x number of units and um, uh, I mean, X stands for the number of units of output. Okay, now uh, let's answer the second part of the question. That is, we have to find the total cost of producing 150 units. So uh, to find the total cost of producing 150 units, you just have to plug in 150 for X into this cost function. Because already we know that X stands for uh, the total number of units of output. So the question clearly says uh, the number of units is 150 and we have to find the total cost. So when x is equal to 150, what is the value of y? Okay, let's do that. Okay, to find the total cost of producing 150 units, now we have to plug in x is equal to 150 into this linear cost function. Okay, let me do it. y equals to 7 times 150, positive 65. So 7 times 150 is 1050, positive 65. And when I add them, I'll be getting $1,115. So the total cost of producing uh, 150 units is $1,115.